This is an Adobe Photoshop tutorial on the difference between 8-bit and 16-bit images. Now I'm sure you've been told that you need to use 16-bit color space when you're doing color corrections. However, maybe no one ever showed you exactly why you're doing that. This is a very quick tutorial just to give you an idea of the difference between working in 8-bit and 16-bit images. We have the exact same gradient in the top image and the bottom image. If I use the levels adjustment, and if I change this bottom gradient, to 110 and 148 it turned that gradient into a gray because what it did was it took the black and the white and it crushed the information into this narrow space of color if I take that level that I just made and drop it onto the bottom image visually it does the exact same thing we have gray on the top and the gray on the bottom just like we had that the exact same gradient on the top and the bottom now here's where things start getting funky. If I click on the levels again, and in the top area here, I once again do 110 and 148, you should now be able to see that the 16-bit image looks exactly as it did before. You have a black, you have a gray, and then you have a white. And it's a very smooth gradient. If I take that layer that I just created, and I put that onto the 8-bit image, now you should be able to see a huge difference between the two where this is nothing but a banding and this one is smooth. And that is the difference between the 8-bit color space and the 16-bit color space. Primarily you have approximately 16, 17 million colors within the 8-bit color space. When you start dealing with the 16-bit color space, you have trillions of colors that the computer has to choose from in order to rebuild this missing data. Using 8-bit is more of an old school legacy thing. For example, JPEGs need to be 8-bit. So when you take a picture as a JPEG, it's coming off as an 8-bit image. However, if you're gonna continue to start working on the image, doing adjustments and curves and whatever, you really need to be working in the 16-bit color space. Now visually to us, it's gonna look the same. However, to the computer and to the printers, it has a wider range of colors to choose from so that any possibility of banding like you see here can be avoided. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please go to www.theartofretouching.com where you can find more tips and tricks to make you a better retoucher.